Coach Terry McKeever, Bears up big after day two. Mm -hmm. Coach, you got to be happy with the uh, team's performances today. Yeah, well, definitely. Um, just a lot of different women stepping up in, in different ways and um, personal best and, and just fighting more than anything. So I'm, I'm very proud of that. We, you know, like any time you bring a good group in, you, you have some hiccups and we've been able to survive those and different people have stepped up. So it's definitely not over. <laughs> I think a couple of the girls last night were saying that um, Cal is known as the day two team. Mm -hmm. um, how, so after such a fantastic day two, how do you guys feel about going into day three? Oh, good. I mean, I, I think, you know, it doesn't matter what you do on day two unless you can finish it off. So it's going to be really important tomorrow to finish it off. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think a couple of the girls were saying that you guys have trained specifically for day three. Um, just like through workouts, like training one race at a time, s stuff like that. Is there anything in particular that stands out? Um, that oh, I, I just think that more than anything, day three to me, it, it, um, I was just speaking to someone. I think one of the things I've taken a huge amount of pride in is our 800 free relay um, at, at night and the ability that I've been fortunate to have women, you know, be their third 200 and then be able to, you know, four people put a relay together that is as good as we've ever been or, or anyone's ever been. Like those are the kind of things that personally inspire me and that we talk about. And, and I think tomorrow it's, it's, you know, we can't control anybody by ourselves, but I, I wanna see them get up and, and come in here with intention and purpose. And if we do that, you know, we'll, we'll be okay with the results, whatever they, they end up, so. Speaking of that 800 free relay, you had Elizabeth Pelton in the, in the third leg Mm -hmm. And she was next to Simone Manuel, who obviously was going to have have a pretty good swim. And Elizabeth hung in, hung right in there at 142, 142 uh, six. Uh -huh. Do you give her a lot of credit for, you know, hanging with Simone there? Well, I think Elizabeth is a pretty good swimmer, and um, you, you know, some of um, having her do some, maybe going the hundred backstroke was hoping that we could get a little bit more on that that relay. And um, you know, as a coach, sometimes you make decisions, and they work out beautifully and sometimes you make decisions and they backfire and things have gone pretty good so far. <laughs> and you so you're looking forward to tomorrow, do you have a race that you're most excited about? Uh, I, I think the events line up well for us with the tuner backstroke going first. I think, you know, obviously that's a strong event for us. So it's going to be really important to come in and make a statement at the beginning and, and, and um, keep it going. And so I'm, I'm looking forward to that and just just really taking one one thing at a time, and and but the Tony backstroke is hopefully gonna be special. <laughs> Terry, so let's finally talk about the other special swim tonight, Missy's American record, mm -hmm. one thirty one one. I know we all had bets on well, thirty nine one thirty nine. That, that would be nice, but uh, <laughs> she wasn't Next that year. good. Yeah, 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 you yeah. Guys yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we were all taking bets. What, can can you honestly say where you thought she was gonna be? I thought she'd be under, but I didn't know how far, so. I mean, I, I, I'm not, you know, I know there are a lot of coaches that are kind of into that and what the split should be, and, and I'm just more of kind of on the day-to-day -day stuff talking about things, and then, I mean, I just told her, you know, go make them remember, remember you, and, um, you, you know, I think it's it's special for a lot of reasons. It being her last event, it's, it's, it's an event that she has a lot of pride around, or her last year, and, um, you know, I think, it, it's like I look at the heat sheet and I look at Natalie's times, or that Natalie's American record just got broke right now. Like, that's, I think that might be a swim that can stick around for a while, and I, I think that's pretty cool when you can do that, you know, or work with someone that can do that. <laughs> How did your team react to that? Overall, was it a big lift and like we're going to take it on? Was it a, was it a charge all the way through? Um, you know, I I think a little bit when like it's it's more of I think we got a bigger charge out of watching Kelly Nazi, who's who's never scored an event at NC Toys and has been first or second alternate two years in a row, and you know gets in an eighth and then just just inspires all of us. Like like I think those. Um, you know, it's kind of unfortunate, but I think sometimes you expect the Missies and the Elizabeths and, and to kind of do things, you know, and, and um, I'm particularly inspired by Rachel Bootsma, you know, part of the joy of working with people is the ups and the downs and, you know, what a, what a difference a year makes and, and mainly because she's really made a commitment to work on things away from the pool and, um, you know, I, I, just the joy on her face, I, I, I don't think I've ever seen her just that 
happy, and that's that's pretty pretty fun to experience that. So. And those, you know, those records that Natalie set 15 or 13 years ago, I should mm -hmm. say, and one of them broken, and then one of them almost is broken yeah. by one of your swimmers. Yeah. As a coach, what does it mean to be here when that record is broken and just to see those finally being touched after all this time? Oh, it's pretty cool. It kind of takes me back to like, damn, Natalie was pretty good, wasn't she? Or is pretty good, I mean, you know, and just like to be that far, um, I mean, that's a long time in swimming history and, and um, I just don't think you see too many, um, you, you know, Missy's free or 200 free kind of had that that look of separation and you don't really get that too often and um, you, you know Natalie I was fortunate enough to see that happen a few times so it's, it's pretty cool you know well well uh, you know well well deserved to break it and, and um, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy I'm sure Natalie's probably not happy but she should take <laughs> take great pride in that it, it took this long and, and that it's something that people have been gunning for so. you guys good Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Good job today. Oh, man. It's hot.